Hi, I'm Elwood, Wood, and these are my memories of how I got started doing leather work. Uh, I was in sixth grade and uh, living in Duncanville, Texas, and going to, I can't remember the name of the junior high, I think it was Reed Junior High, and uh, I met a guy there, a friend of mine named Happy. Okay, that was what we called him, that's what everybody called him, including his family. But his real name was Frederick Charles Thatcher Jr. Slauson III, something like that. I'm sure I've got that wrong, but it was something really long like that. But he, we all called him Happy. Um, and uh, <clears throat> he lived across town, and uh, I would ride my bike over to his house to visit him. And this, this first time that I kind of went into his house, and he showed me his bedroom. He had a little table set up, and he had all these kind of, you know, tools and uh, mallets and leather and uh, he did leather work. Uh, I think, I don't know, somebody in his family taught him or whatever, but that was his little craft project, his little, you know, his thing that he did. And he had a, a uh, what they call a, a rounder, which is a piece of leather like this. He had that on his uh, workbench and this one had the word uh, Gary stamped into it and some other things and it was, it was dyed impeccably, uh, had black background, the words had like white uh, outline with red inside, he had like, I don't know, he had like a bird stamped on there, I don't know what he had on there anymore. Uh, somewhere in this house, I think I still have that rounder, I was trying to find it, and so far I haven't come up with it, but anyway, uh, he said, oh, I made this for you, and he gave that to me, because Gary is my last name, and uh, Looking back on it now, and everything else, I mean, I, well, let's just say I'm not real sure he made it and that he made it for me, but he was, did a really nice gesture, he gave it to me, and I was hooked. I was hooked. I was like, oh, this is cool. I want to do that. So I went home and I kind of begged my mom and dad for uh, a beginning leather crafting kit from Tandy Leather. And uh, I, I found it. I don't know how I found it because we didn't have the internet back then. But anyway, there were stores, candy leather stores were kind of all over back in the day. And uh, anyway, I begged them. And, and honestly, I don't usually get uh, what I want for my birthday or anything. But they did. They gave me a beginning leather crafting kit. Now, it came in a box, maybe about, if I remember right, of course, I was smaller then. About this big, this wide, this deep, you know, and about this thick. And it came with uh, kind of a basic set of tools. Um, it came with a hammer, okay, a little mallet to strike the tools with, which, uh, because I'm such a geek, uh, I carved four into it. <laughs> and it came with a, a swivel knife, and this is what you cut the patterns into the leather with. You do your figure carving with this, and this is the one that came in the kit. Uh, since I have better ones now. And it came with sort of a basic set of tools, and I don't remember exactly all of the tools that it came with, but it came with a pear shader. It's called a pear shader. It came with a cedar. Again, it's called a cedar. It's had a little round thing. You can kind of make seeds with it. It came with a beveler, which is a workhorse. Uh, you cut your line. And then to raise it up and, and, and uh, do your impressions, your embossing or whatever, you run this along the line. And it came with a background tool. And that, you know, that makes a cool uh, kind of a checkered background on things. And it came with another tool called a veiner, which uh, you use for making flowers and, and things like that. And uh, it came with a book, a beginning book, and I can't remember if it was this book, which I have still. And again, this is from when I was in sixth grade, which was kind of a long time ago. Or if it came with this book. I'm not sure which of the two books uh, it came with. And it came with a few leather, you know, beginning leather uh, kits that were kind of pre-cut out and came with some lace and some other things and I don't know you know little cowboy boot keychain thing I remember I don't know I don't have any of that stuff anymore I'm not sure what I did with it but 
Um, so after that, you know, I, I went through all those projects and then I kept going back for more. And uh, I, I uh, subscribed to Make It With Leather magazine. And this one is, I guess, my first one. It's kind of in bad shape here. But uh, 1977. And uh, I don't know how long I've been doing it. I, I don't, didn't do the math, but since sixth grade, I've been doing leather work until about 30 years ago. Um, I kind of peaked in my uh, work in about 1984 or so. Uh, because, I don't know, that going through all the stuff I still have, which I'm going to show you in just a, just a minute, um, a kind of an overview of what I still have left from everything I've made over the years. Uh, 1984, I was dating things on the on the leather work by that time because I was really proud of it and I was pretty good, you know, relatively good. I was never a master or anything like that, um, but I was, you know, I was relatively good. I started off as a sixth grader trying to figure this stuff out, and certainly by the time I was, you know, 20 three or so, or whatever it was in, in 1984, I was doing pretty good. And uh, then in 1986, I uh, had an apartment, still had my leather working uh, bench up there and was doing things once in a while, going to college. And, and then I met the love of my life. And uh, 1986, we got married. And uh, um, when I moved in with her, after getting married, uh, I packed up all my leatherworking stuff and I just never got it back out for, like I said, 30 years or more, more than 30. We've been married about 31 years. And until now, until I've moved into this house, you can see behind me, I got my, wait, where is it? <laughs> I got all my tools now. I would still like, like that set right there, that box and that set, that's way more tools than I ever had. Um, to do all the stuff I did, um, but I bought, I found that at a garage sale, and I bought it, and, you know, I've upgraded a lot of the tools and things, and uh, now I've got, um, got the space, as you can see, and I'm getting back into it, and I've got some ideas uh, for what I want to do. I've always wanted to, I didn't want to make saddles, although I would have loved to have made a saddle once, <clears throat> but, you know, I made a lot of belts. I've made a lot of knife sheaths. I've made a lot of uh, wall hangings, though, uh, a few. And I would like to do more, you know, just whatever I want to do. I'm not trying to go into business or anything. But uh, so you're going to see what I've done up till now. And then we'll talk about uh, where I'm planning on going with this. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, let me show you the uh, my leather collection of what I've done. So after 30 years of not doing leather working, I'm uh, finally in a position to get back at it. And uh, before I'm starting back up, I went around the house and I gathered up all of my projects that I still have. Most of them having been done, like I said, about 30 years ago. And uh, put them all in one place. This is sort of my life's work of leather crafting if you will uh, there's a lot of this is only a fraction of what I've done maybe a large fraction but still just a fraction kind of, of what I've done over back in that in those days um, but uh, I'm gonna start back up and uh, so I went and got everything and a lot of them were in pretty rough shape I have a lot of like unfinished projects or a lot of projects that kind of fell apart, not really fell apart, well, that picture's frame fell apart, but, um, so, I, so I put, uh, leather conditioner back on everything, and, uh, what I wanted to do before I start posting videos about the new stuff that I'm going to be doing, is I kind of wanted to go over all of the old stuff I did, I want to get it out, I want to finish it, and, uh, so I'm going to be doing individual videos about most of this stuff coming up soon. But first, I just sort of wanted to give you a taste of uh, kind of things that I've done and uh, kind of things that I'm going to start doing again. 
or doing more of. And I got a lot of ideas, and we'll see if I uh, have the time to really, to really flush them out. But uh, that was kind of fun. So there you go. That's uh, that's my life's work. That's uh, all the stuff that I still have. I uh, hope you like that. Uh, I'm gonna make more videos coming up. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna kind of take those things piece by piece. And talk more about each one individually or like groups of things like belts or something like that. And just share a few more of my memories. It's, it's nostalgic for me. Uh, uh, and then, you know, in the coming uh, days, weeks, months, years, whatever, I'm going to be just uh, working on projects and, and showing you them as we go. Uh, I got some cool ideas that I'm hoping to be able to execute. I got to get back. My skills, they're rusty, and I've got to uh, practice on rounders for a while and, and just try to remember how I used to do everything. Uh, but I appreciate it. Thank you for your time, and see you later.